So right now at 5 tonight, D.C. authorities say two rival drug trafficking crews have been taken down in Northeast D.C. as part of a year long investigation. State's attorney Matthew Graves says 24 people were arrested in the past nine days. Our Rafael Sanchez Cruz was in the room when the announcement was made today. And Rafa, we know this all started as a fentanyl investigation, but officials are hoping this will also help curb crime, right? That's right, Lorenzo. State's attorney Matthew Graves spoke about this generally. He says that when you take down these two rival crews, you also take out the existing street beef and the violence associated to these crews. Now, authorities say that this is the first time that law enforcement simultaneously takes down two rival crews less than a mile away here in the district. I want to show you the map of where those busts took place. Now, 23 people have been arrested in the past nine days. The 24th was already in custody, according to officials. Some of these allegations, some of these alleged traffickers are facing federal charges for the greater involvement in violence across the district, according to the state's attorney. Now, Graves says the most recent bust was just this morning in the Trinidad neighborhood, where nine people have been arrested for firearm charges and conspiracy to distribute fentanyl, crack cocaine, and heroin. Now, last week, 15 people were arrested in the Carver Langston neighborhood for similar crimes. In both busts, authorities say they were able to seize 35 firearms, ammunition, and what they're calling a significant quantity of illegal drugs and nearly $150,000 in cash. FBI Special Agent David Scott detailed how the distribution of fentanyl is also resulting in violence across the district. Let's listen. Defendants in both of these cases distributed fentanyl, one of the most addictive and potent illicit drugs on the market, and they spread fear and violence throughout their communities. Based on data-driven intelligence and collaboration with partners, we know that it's just a small number of people that are driving most of the violence in our city. Whether that violence relates directly to the sale of drugs or indirectly through rivalries between crews. These defendants peddled fentanyl and sparked numerous bursts of gunfire in areas where they operated. Yeah, State's Attorney Graves says the investigations in Trinidad and, and Langston Carver neighborhoods are ongoing, so there may be additional arrests. He sent a warning to anyone involved in drug trafficking, particularly fentanyl trafficking, saying he's going to fully proceed with these charges against anyone involved. I'm live in downtown Rafael Sanchez Cruz, WUSA 9. Yeah, 35 firearms and drugs. This, this bus certainly saved lives. Rafa, thank you.